guys what is up it's eight o'clock in the morning just left my house i've been up since seven o'clock it's a saturday and i'm on my way to radio you guys are gonna join me today and see what my life is like on some days today's a crazy day radio presenting at an event today and then going out for my friend's birthday let's see if i can survive because right now i'm so tired this is my life guys welcome to my life guys i'm literally in the middle of stratford i don't care right now just got my costa i need a coffee otherwise i think i might have died i'm so tired today and i'm just by the way the guy in costa was really rude costa if you're watching this I had a bit of a crappy start to my day because this guy was just too rude. I don't appreciate this at all, so I really, really don't. Too rude. But anyway, just making my way now. People are looking at me. But you know when you get to a point in your vlogging life where you just don't care anymore? Cheers. I'm at that point. He's body, baby. He's body, baby. Yes, look who it is, look who it is, look who it is. Hey, you've been practicing. KK AJ, Sarah Secret. Yes, they've come to join me on the West Side, guys. So, as I've mentioned, I'm giving you guys a peek of my life, part of my life. With these two beautiful ladies. Guys, I'm tired as hell. Girl, don't worry. When we are doing that one, <laughs> we are tired. <laughs> we're actually knackered. Everyone's shattered right now. <laughs> we're tired, but we're here for you guys. Okay? Yeah, so stay tuned, stay locked in. It's gonna be a packing show. <laughs> Are you feeling my way? Cause I'm feeling your way. To pass up on the family, mama says it's okay. Hmm. Oh, them up here, be on show name. Baby, you know, no, it's okay. okay. No swearing, no none of that. Um, headphones on. When that light goes on, that means that everyone can hear you. Okay? And I'll put all of our mics up. Fashion killer. Oh yes, it is the West Side Connection with your girl Nissy T in the building. That was the sound of ASAP Rocky with Fashion Killer. Oh my gosh, I still love that tune. ASAP Rocky, I don't really know if I'm still feeling his music at the moment, but that tune is always going to be a banger for me. Just before that as well, we had the sounds of Mario P. Diddy with I Don't Wanna Know an old school classic. If you love those old school classics, you wanna be on the next show, The Jam, where there is an hour of nothing but non-stop classics. And of course, the sounds of ILJ, Chris Brown with your number, the remix. But listen, beautiful people, I'm not in the building alone right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy two of my beautiful guests are in the building already. Yes, we have Sarah Secret. Hey, hey, hey. And we have Kiki AJ. Hello, everyone. Yes, two beautiful, in fact, I'm not even gonna tell people what you guys do. In fact, I think I kind of said it already, but still, okay. Now, these two beautiful ladies have taken the time, have woken up early. Listen, there's no makeup on right now. There's not one ounce of makeup yeah. in the studio right now. Yeah. Like, we are all barefaced, bearing no it all. All natural states. All natural because it's too early. <laughs> it's too early, okay? But the two ladies have come to join me in the building to have an amazing show today. Um, but before we even go on, we need to know a little bit about yourselves. Maybe we can start with Sarah. Um, Tell us a little bit, a I little bit. No, start. we're going to start no? with you. Okay. We're going to start with you. My Tell name us is Sarah. I am 20 years young. I make videos for fun and I like to inspire people. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Love it, yeah, love yeah. it, love it. Okay, and uh, what about yourself, Kike? Well, my name is Kike. I make videos on YouTube as well. That's where this beautiful friendship has obviously been. It's your hands. Yeah. 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 We had to have fun with Nissy today. Like, we're very grateful for you having us, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We love you, babes. <laughs> no, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Like, genuinely, as Kike had mentioned, this friendship literally started, like, came off of YouTube, which yeah, is true. mad. Crazy. I feel like these girls are my sisters. Like, we've no, known each other. Sister well. We sisters, oh, we, we sisters, right? We sisters. We, you know, we... 
we sisters, we tight like that, we tight. But um, of course, today is a bit of a lady takeover. Today is all about everything positive, everything women, mm -hmm. okay? And obviously, both of you guys do YouTube. What inspired you guys to even do YouTube in the first place? Mm -hmm. Come on, Kike, want to take it away? Well, take it away, Kike. I feel like the one thing that has inspired me so much to get onto YouTube is Void. Like, I feel like there was a message that I had to put into our generation. Mm -hmm. And YouTube was definitely the avenue for me to do that. I wasn't the kind of person that liked to tweet all the time, mm. but I've always known how to use my camera. I've always known how to use my camera, my iPhone, mm -hmm. whatever. So definitely YouTube was the avenue for me to do that. So of course, the reason why mm -hmm. I'm on YouTube. Yeah. So you, there was it was your faith that got you yeah. saying, do you know what? I need to go to YouTube and I need to say something. Mm -hmm. Amazing. What about yourself, Sarah? I would say the same thing, you know, you gotta be God and everything. Oh, but, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think the um, main thing as well was that growing up, mm -hmm. you go on YouTube and now you see all these YouTubers, but there's a lot of topics they don't speak about that, mm -hmm. was, that was able to inspire me as a young person. Mm -hmm. So I just knew that if someone else had me there, maybe I'd be able to get them out of sticky situations mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just to be able to be someone's encouragement and motivation, just continue going on their journey of life. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that was my reason. Um, ah, oh, this I is why, that. see, this is why me and these ladies just work because, you know, you guys. You guys all know you've been locked into my show for a while now and you know that everything I do is about motivation positivity like we even have a section coming up a little bit later on where we share motivational quotes and messages kind of towards the end of the show mm -hmm. so the fact that you guys are just so positive minded and just so focused on what you guys want to do is inspiring so if you're locked into the show right now and you do not leave this this these next couple of hours being motivated i don't know what it is you're doing we don't know we don't, <laughs> we don't know, know. We don't. but of course listen we've got so much more we're going to be talking about we're going to be unraveling we're going to be having loads of fun a little bit later on as well but of course i still have some serious bangers coming up on the way just for you let me know what you're doing hit me up what are you doing right now are you getting ready to go out it's kind of raining outside, so maybe you're just chilling indoors. Mm -hmm. Let me know. Hit me up Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on Snapchat. This is Westside. Don't go anywhere. You know, the only place to be is right here. Keep it Westside. Hey! hey. Yo, baby. Yo, baby. Yo, baby. So this is Sarah's. Hey, 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 hey! Look at the show, dog. Wait. You're asking um. for, but you in a mansion. Hey, somewhere hey. with cats. Hey, like I said, ain't nothing to the pain. We can change the last name. What's happening? This girl's actually singing. Cause you look so good. Jesus. Tell me why you wanna work here. I'm putting the mic on. Ooh, ooh, uh, we in the bed. bed. Oh, ooh, is it? Ooh, okay. Ooh, no. ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> nice finish up. <laughs> Yes, it is the West Side building, West Side Connection, and we were enjoying ourselves to a little bit of tea pain right there. Young Jock, buy you a drink. This was pre T Pain going and doing whatever he did to his hair. Like, <laughs> have you seen what he has done not to his hair? I mean, Young Jock even, yeah, not T Pain, right, sorry. Right, right. So, of course, the two ladies that I have in the building right now, they are both YouTubers, been doing YouTube for about a year, nearly two years for QK, yeah. and um, a year and a bit yeah. for Sarah. And obviously we've been talking a little bit about kind of being scared and basically you guys were kind of like, listen, I wanted to go on YouTube, I knew what I wanted to do, so I didn't let anything get in my way. Of course not. Exactly, but um, one question that people are also probably wondering is about haters and trolls. <laughs> deep sigh ladies oh, oh my deep goodness <laughs> now as i mentioned obviously i'm on youtube myself as well so trust me i have stories for days to tell mm -hmm. but something that other people might also be worrying about is just putting themselves out there and then people saying negative things have you guys ever experienced anything negative um on your youtube channels well oh gosh oh, I don't know, right. why are we all signing before we start <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> we this is sad yeah we already know what it is Go on, Kike, tell us especially because of what I go on YouTube to talk about. Mm -hmm. I feel like, especially with my faith, I know I've had a past, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it hasn't been exactly pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, she's been revived. Yeah, revived you. Like it now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, people don't want you to share your salvation, mm -hmm. and they always come and they bring up your past. So mm -hmm. it's like, your past then invalidates your salvation. And for me, that's. What, what does that even mean? Like, I'm here to share with you mm -hmm. the best thing that happened to me, and you bring up things that's got nothing. My salvation Oh 
Oh yes, like it just said, the West Side baby with your city in the building too. Special guest one still on the way. Listen, tunes, music, chat, everything. Make sure you keep it West Side. Say hi, Shay. Hey. We have the beautiful Shay, the amazing singer. Oh, just look at her, girl. look at her. Jenny, that's on the west side with the, the natural, ladies. Look at the hair. Yeah. The hair, I'm here for it. Such goals the right there. I'm Such here for goals. It. Such goals. Yeah, guys. guys, let me just. <laughs> Can I just take a moment to say that I feel so blessed and so honored to be amongst such queens? <laughs> 10 seconds, guys. Go ahead, phones on. Please make sure you speak into the mic at all times. Run the whole entire world, no one other than ladies. Can you help me? Girls, Girls. what? <laughs> yes, I had to play that one because we are literally squatted up in the studio. Only ladies in the building right now. We've got the beautiful Sarah Secrets, the gorgeous Kike AJ, and the incredible Shay, the singer. <laughs> I'm just so blessed right now. Like literally, just so much talent in in this building right now. So much. Love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been Love amazing, <laughs> amazing so far. So of course, Shay, I did kind of mention that we are in sync because you kind of touched upon the topic which we're gonna start now, which is the topic of the week. And um, as I mentioned before as well, topic of the week this week is all about representation and um, diversity, representation of women, especially um, on in terms of creative industries, the media, music, whatever it may be. And you touched a little bit on that as well. So I think we'll go to Kike and to Sarah. Um, what do you think about the representation that we currently have of women, whether it be black women or just women in general, diversity on, um, I guess we'll start with, let's say, let's start with YouTube actually, seeing as you guys are both YouTubers, what do you think about, yeah, about diversity on YouTube? Um, I feel like there's not enough opportunity for us as coloured women out there. Okay, why'd you say that? Um, I watch a lot of YouTubers, clearly, I spend a lot of my time <laughs> on YouTube. Of course, as you do. I feel like a lot of black women on there do not get the credit that they, they, mm. they deserve. Okay. For example, my homie Patricia Bright. Everyone's homie. Everyone's Our homie. homie. We <laughs> love Patricia. If you're locked in right Patricia, now, you are babe. We, love you. <laughs> we actually love you. She should be far, like far further than where she is now. Mm -hmm. But I feel like because the opportunities are so limited towards mm -hmm. our our little, you know, niche. Yeah. We can't get through the door. Mm -hmm. And what, a lot of the time, what we find is that we then start competing with each other for the so few opportunities mm -hmm. that we have. I think we need to like take ourselves out there and. If they're not going to give us our opportunities, then we need to so make for ourselves. For ourselves. Okay. Yeah, we will show them by force that we are a force to be reckoned with. Yes. Yes. What about yourself, Sarah? I won't lie. Can I really talk after you? Just <laughs> my I think we can all leave now. <laughs> Everyone, I, we can I all get out of the building. I, I think we're actually done here. Yeah. But um, yeah, I second guess everything that Kiki is saying. I do feel like there aren't that many opportunities out there, mm -hmm. and that is to do with sometimes bigger brands, that's to do with society, that's to do with music, media, everything kind of above. And mm -hmm. like she said, if we create our own platform and we are the best at our own platform, then we will all grow mm -hmm. together. I love it. With yourself, Shay, I guess um, you've obviously been doing music for a very long time now. You know, since you were really young. Um, I guess my question to you is: Have you seen a difference? Um, in terms of um, diversity, in terms of you know what you see is represented now in the creative industries, in media and music, um, from when you were younger until now? Yeah, I have. I have seen the difference. However, mm -hmm. it's been very gradual. Okay. And that's worrying. Obviously, it's better to have some progression than none at all. So mm. I'm grateful for that bit. But in the time span, I started singing when I was, what, like six. I'm 21 now. So in that time span, there definitely not have, has not been enough progression mm. um, which is why I'm constantly trying to you know push it for that, that more but yeah I have seen a little bit of progression. Shay come back on for a second. So what you're hearing right now is the sounds of Shay, the singer who's in the building with Melanin, okay? <laughs> this song is so beautiful. Please tell us a little bit about this song. What inspired it? Oh, thank you so much. Um, I wrote this song last year um, in August. It was one of my first releases, actually. And I released it shortly after the Sandra Bland case. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, so. Was that, did you plan that? Or, well, obviously you couldn't have planned that. Because, no. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> that was so silly. Oh. Yeah, no, don't mind me, keep it, keep it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, I <laughs> I wrote it shortly after that case. Obviously, like, everyone knows about the police brutality and all that was going on. Mm. Um, and it's saddening anyway. But that particular case just moved me in a different way. Mm. And, yeah, like, in the midst of all the hate and all the, like, all the attacks and um, people not realising our worth as black people, I just felt the need to write a song to remind my people that we are worthy, like, do you know what I mean? So yeah. I wrote this song. That's, that's where it came from. It's so amazing. Thank you. 